Today we are taking up D.H. Lawrence. D.H. Lawrence was born in 1885. He was a novelist, short story writer, poet, critic, playwright, essayist and a painter. He was born at Eastwood, Nottinghamshire. His father was a coal miner and his mother came from a family with genteel aspirations. He left Nottingham, uh, Nottingham High School in 1901 and worked as a clerk and pupil teacher before taking a training course at University College, Nottingham. Subsequently, he taught in Croydon until illness forced him to resign. His writing was first encouraged by his friend Jesse Chambers and Ford Maddox Ford, who published his poetry in the English Review and helped him with the publication of his first novel, The White Peacock, in 1911. Set in what is recognizably the countryside around Eastwood, it contains a striking character in the gameskeeper Annabelle. The White Peacock was followed by The Trespasser in 1912, based on the experiences of his friend Helen Quirk and his first major work, the autobiographical Sons and Lovers in 1913. In 1912, Lawrence met Frida Weekly daughter of a German baron and wife of a professor at Nottingham. They went to Germany together and married after her divorce in 1914. During First World War, they lived in London and Cornwall until expelled on suspicion of spying for the Germans. By this time, Lawrence has formed close friendships with among others, David Garnett, Aldous Huxley, Burton Russell, Lady Otline Morrill, Catherine Mansfield, John Middleton Murray, and Richard Ed Eldington. His next novel, The Rainbow, in 1915, he wrote it was prosecuted and banned on grounds of obscenity. Its successor, Women in Love, had difficulty finding a publisher. It was finally printed privately in New York in 1920 and later a censored English edition followed in 1921. In 1919, Lawrence and Frieda left England for Italy, where he wrote The Lost Girl in 1920, Aaron's Rod in 1922, and Mr. Noon, an incomplete novel, carried forward his life following Sons and Lovers. It was eventually published in 1984. Subsequent works reflect the travel of uh, writer who had become a permanent exile from his native country. Kangaroo 1923 was written during a four-month stay in Australia, where Lawrence met Emil Skinner, with whom he collaborated on The Boy in the Bush in 1924. The Plumed Serpent was inspired by his stay in Mexico. His last novel, Lady Chatelet's Lover, was published in Florence in 1928. An expurgated edition appeared in England and the USA in 1932, but the original version had to await favorable court verdicts in 1959. In 1960, respectively. The first two versions of the novel 
were published independently as the first Lady Chatterley in 1944 and the John Thomas and Lady Jane in 1972. Lawrence died of tuberculosis at Venice in France at the age of 44. Now, given the brevity of his writing career, the sheer amount of his output is remarkable. His uh, short stories, which include some of his finest work, appeared in the Prussian Officer, 1914, England, My England, 1922, The Woman Who Rode Away, 1928, Love Among the Haystacks, 1930, and The Lovely Lady, 1933. His novellas, also among his best work, include The Ladybird, The Fox, The Captain's Doll, Saint Mark, The Princess, The Sun, The Escaped Cock, also known as uh, The Man Who Died, and The Virgin and the Gypsy. His poetry, first collected in 1928, includes uh, love poems, memoirs, Look, We Have Come Through, new poems, Bay, then Birds, Beasts, and Flowers, then Pansies, then Nettles, and the last poems. In addition, Lawrence wrote plays, several about mining families, collected in the complete plays in 1965. His non-fictional prose covers a broad spectrum, psychoanalysis and the unconscious, and Fantasia of the Unconscious stand in intimate relationship to the thinking which informs his major novels. His literary criticism includes the groundbreaking study in classic American literature and a study of Hardy, first published in Phoenix. Reflections on the death of a porcupine and assorted articles, a collection of essays. His travel books include Twilight in Italy, Sea in Sardinia, and Mornings in Mexico. And there's one more Etruscan places, Moments in European History. Is a school history book written under the pseudonym of Lawrence H. Davison. Many of his uncollected stories, essays, reviews, and introductions were included in Phoenix. The posthumous papers and Phoenix Second, uncollected, unpublished, and other prose works. And most of his pictures were reproduced in the paintings of D. H. Lawrence. And his time period, as you know, is 1885 to 1930. So he died in 1930 at a very young age of 44. This is all for today. Thank you.